praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for the privilege to be before you all today again and to also thank God for Christ's gospel messages for this invitation. May the Lord continually bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So without wasting so much time, I would like to go straight into what we have today. But before then, shall we pray? Our Father and the Lord, we thank and appreciate you for the privilege you've given unto us to be before you today. Even as we come to learn at your feet, we ask that you open our eyes of understanding and grant us access to the ministry of your word of truth, of life, and of grace in Jesus' name. Amen. By God's grace, um, we'll be considering the book of Genesis, chapter 19, starting from verse 1 through 3, today by God's grace. And I'll be reading from the NIV version of the Bible. I read. The two angels arrived at Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. My Lord, he said, please turn aside to your servant's house. You can wash your feet and spend the night and then go on your way early in the morning. No, they answered, we will spend the night in the square. But he insisted so strongly that they did go with him and entered his house. He prepared a meal for them, baking bread without yeast and the eggs. Amen. Now, these were angels, but to Lord, they were humans. And Lord entertained them. He welcomed to them. He insisted that they followed him home. Well, it could have been the norm for them to entertain guests, to welcome guests or strangers. But aside from the fact that it was a norm, I also want to believe that the reason why Lot insisted that this man followed him home was because he knew that it could be dangerous for them to spend the night in the square. Probably that was the reason why he insisted that they needed to just follow him home. Not even knowing that these were not men. That these were angels. That these were not defenseless beings, but powerful beings. He didn't know. Yet, he availed himself to, 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 to help them. To, to just like avert what evil might come to them if they should sleep in the square. And those people, those men, they are going to follow him home and he presented them what to eat. So, in our own situation, how is it like for us? Even aside from the fact that, oh, this one is a stranger, how about those we know? What do we do when we see people about falling into the ditch? Do we just cross our hands, fold our hands, or cross our legs and the legs and just watch them go right into the deep and we just mock them at the end? He knew what was going to happen to them because he was living in Sodom and Gomorrah or wherever he was living right among them. He knew what was happening there. But he couldn't just stand it, allowing these people to suffer such pain. So in our own case, what do we do? Do we just say, oh well, He's not my brother, he's not my sister, he's not my child, he's not my mom, he's not my dad, he's not my colleague. Then I'll just watch him do whatsoever he wants to do. Lot didn't show us such example. Even though those who he was trying to protect were strong to protect themselves, he didn't know. He showed them a kind gesture. It was not because he was expecting something from them. He was doing it willingly, wholeheartedly. How about us? Every kind gesture we show, what is the question behind it, if there is? Are we always doing it because of something we can get in return? Or we're just doing it willingly, wholeheartedly, just to show kindness to people? I believe the Lord didn't do his own because he was expecting something from them. Besides, he didn't even know their true nature. Beloved, to those who have been kind-hearted, showing kind gestures, showing care and concern for others, I want to beg you, please go on. And I pray that the Lord, in his mercy and grace, 
I'm continually strengthening you and bless your kindness towards others. And for those who always fold their hands and just watch people just fall into the ditch, go astray and the likes. I'm begging you and I'm begging us. Let us stop that. Let us be kind to one another. Let us help one another. Let us have that destruction that can befall others if we close our mouths. I pray that the Lord will help each and every one of us in Jesus' name.